Hey guys, Greg at Best Choice Trailers. Today I'm going to take you for a walk around the Lamar DM Series dump. This is a medium duty size dump, 99 90 pound GVW. Shown here is the 12 foot length. It's also offered in a 10 foot. One thing unique about this trailer, it's built in a 77 inch width, which is a fairly rare width. It's 6 foot 5 inches. We find this a super handy size for guys that don't want a full 7 foot, but need something a little more than a 6 wide. A lot of times you're six foot skid steer buckets and that won't fit in a six foot trailer so very handy size uh, this has a few upgrades on it that i wanted to showcase uh, the 12k jack option this also has a two foot side upgrade this trailer comes standard with an 18 inch and then we add a rear spreader combination gate at the back of the trailer so let's take a look at the starting at the front this has an adjustable coupler it's a six hole gives you four adjustment sets it's got a Demco easy latch coupler up front it's got the uh, auto latching set up so you can let it uh, in the closed position and it'll automatically uh, set 21,000 pound rating on the coupler even though it's a 9,900 pound trailer nice heavy-duty cast coupler uh, standard this would have the two and a half inch uh, jack this has the four and a half inch jack upgrade so it's a 12,000 pound jack setup also has the blue cold weather wiring harness it's got a seven pin rv blade style setup integrated uh, safety chain holder it's got the 110 volt charger in the toolbox all you gotta do is run an extension cord with house current that'll keep your battery charged it's got the breakaway if you're not familiar with trailers uh, this breakaway needs hooked up basically if your trailer ever comes disconnected It'll pull that out, send current to the brakes, and lock your brakes up, bring the trailer to a stop. Uh, one of the things that we like on that bigger 12K jack, it's got a lot more extension on the foot. Uh, so you have an inner leg that would extend. You pull the handle, it's spring-loaded, comes down. Then the uh, jack handle itself is going to uh, extend the outer sleeve. So you got lots of adjustment with the jack. No need to ever carry around a piece of wood or similar. Toolbox is lockable. It's got a new hinge set up at the back. A lot of folks just didn't, uh, I'll say maintenance or put any grease or WD-40 or anything on the hinges. So new style hinge there that's to be, I'll say somewhat foolproof. Uh, batteries in a separate battery box. Uh, a lot of times manufacturers will not use this. Uh, and then you just gotta watch, you can uh, put straps or something in there. You'll be arcing off your battery. Uh, this is a power up power down you can tell because it's got the two coils now not only is it a power up power down but you got a third button on the remote because this is a gravity down as well thought process behind that would be uh, you got the benefit of power both ways but the gravity down if you ever uh, want to save some battery or if you're getting near the end of the uh, the battery life you need the gravity down and charge your battery you can do so in a power up power down only situation if uh, your battery's dead It'll lower the dump bed, contrary to what some people think, but it's going to empty the fluid out of the system on the way down. Uh, remember, this is a turnkey, I'll say a circle system. If it's not, you know, if the battery's dead and it doesn't have enough power, you're cutting the system in half and you're going to return the fluid, but you're not going to push any out. That extra fluid's going to come out that reservoir cap. With a gravity down ability, uh, you can lower it without losing your fluid, which is a nice feature. So again, we said the 110 volt chargers in here, you've got roughly 20 foot of cord uh, far enough normally that uh, you can get to the truck if it's a cold day, whatnot, or you wanna whatever, drink your coffee while you dump, uh, you got enough room to do it. Uh, this has a, what I'll call a deluxe tarp kit. A lot of times this is gonna be a steel rod. This is actually an aluminum rod going across. It's also got a sail bar. It's something you don't always get. In fact, a lot of tarp kits don't have that. That's called a sail bar. It's kind of nice, it's also got the guides for it. Uh, that's gonna lock in at the back. It just makes it real nice. You can take this with one hand, walk it to the back. Your tarp's not you know, catching on whatever you got in it. Just makes it nice and neat, rolls up nice and neat. Uh, professional type system. Handle folds out when you need it, folds back when you don't. You got a spring-loaded setup. Stake pockets if you wanna build side extensions. Uh, normally I recommend not going higher than the side itself. You got a two foot side. So if you want to build say a two foot wood side extension, you could do that. 
Uh, you've got these new verticals from Lamar, kind of a neat look, gives uh, some structure, also has a hook for your eyelet. So when you deploy the tarp, if you want to take and uh, bungee it down, uh, you've got the verticals to do so. Uh, this trailer is not over 10,000 GVW where reflector tape would be required, but it does have some reflector tape going down the side. This has the newer style fenders, which is partly why I wanted to showcase this trailer. It's got the fender gussets front rear, and then it's got the Lamar logo and Boston Defender. It gives it a nice, I think a kind of different, neat look, a little bit heavier. Uh, notice the charcoal powder coat in the trailer, and then we go black mod wheels. Just gives it a nice look. Uh, tire on this being a 10K trailer, it's going to be a six lug axle. That calls for a load range D8 ply tire. It's a 225 75 R15 load range D. So you see the rigid rail uh, decal. Lamar uses a little bit heavier top rail than most. Typically, you're going to come up over. It's not going to be as wide of a rail. And then it's going to lip down about three quarters of an inch or so. This actually wraps all the way back to the dump bed itself. Top rail on this is probably twice as wide as most. Uh, they did this, you had rental companies and whatnot that would take skid steer buckets, they would beat up that top rail, it wouldn't look good. You just got a stronger top rail there. Uh, keep in mind, normally your rail, you don't have to depend who the user is, but your rail here in the floor generally is going to take a little bit more of a beating than the sidewall, depending on who's operating the piece of equipment. So here's your hook where your tarp kit's going to clamp into. And then your gate on this, we've upgraded. Standard just to be a barn door, but this also has the combination spreader. And then because it's a two foot high side, get a little bit more cubic volume capacity out of it if you wanna tailgate stuff in. Uh, D-ring, you can use it to tie down, but it's also designed to where when you open the door up, it's gonna swing and catch in that. Very simple design, but very heavy duty. We've seen some very interesting designs in the industry for that. This one's very simple and effective. Ramps are under mount. You've got your center markers and your outer stop turn tails. Full height cam bar lock. We see some that just pin at the bottom. Uh, this one here does close the top and the bottom all the way up. Nice design. Uh, it's got an enclosed top lip just like the other. So the max rail that's on the sides, similar on the rear door. Grease zerts on your hinges on the outsides. Spreader chain. So whenever you spread, you'd need to set your depth gauge. Spare tire mount on these, not standard, but something that we add to most of ours, just makes it a lot nicer should a customer want a spare tire on the trailer. I guess I should mention uh, weight. This trailer's gonna weigh in as equipped, probably in the 3,100, 3,200 pound range. 10,000 pound trailer minus 32, you're gonna be about 6,800 pound of payload. It's not gonna to count tongue weight. Tongue weight's gonna to transfer to the truck via the ball about 15% or 1,500 pounds. That's gonna take your net payload up uh, somewhere in the low 8,000 pound range uh, once you get that tongue transfer. So let's go ahead and put the bed up on this. So Lamar years ago used to do a piston cylinder and then they went a little bit heavier uh, probably three years ago to a scissor hoist. At a 10,000 pound GVW, it's a really kind of unnecessary to have something this heavy, but it's uh, awesome for a high duty cycle user. So this is the 516 scissor hoist. Uh, this scissor is gonna be the same hoist that you're gonna find in your 14,000 pound, and depends on the manufacturer, occasionally you might even find it on a 16,000 pound trailer. So, scissor benefits because it's gonna get more stroke than a uh, single piston would. Just it's able to extend farther. It's a more stable lift as well. Spreads the weight and the load out better. If you look at different scissors also, some will be angle or channel here. That's boxed in for tube. Just build out a little bit heavier. So again, that's a 516 scissor common on your 14,000 pound trailers. Another thing that's going to be a little bit different, depends on the manufacturer, but sometimes you won't see a bed frame. And this has a four inch channel bed frame. Uh, sometimes in the industry on six wides, they'll take the sidewall down past the floor and extend it in. And the sidewall literally will hold your floor cross members in place. This has a separate structural uh, frame. Cross members on this are three inch channel. 
Of course, you've got your undermount ramps with the hook ends. So this is the DM Series Lamar. It's designed to be a dump, medium size, offered in a 10-foot and a 12-foot. Again, this has the unique 77-inch width, super handy in a lot of applications. This is only offered in the 99, 90-pound GVW. Not really a lot of options to add other than what we've added to this. We think it makes a very functional trailer in this GVW. If you have any questions on this unit or any of our other trailers, feel free to give us a ring, 717-220-4220, or you can visit us on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com. Thanks for looking.